Um, so, I figured I would talk a little bit about how we introduce Zephyr to the ducks. It just occurred to me that I don't think I have any video. I have some pictures of Zephyr chilling out with the ducks, but I don't think I have any video for YouTube. So, there's Zephyr, and here are the ducks. Um, so first off, I would like to preface this by saying, um, we did it entirely wrong, and if you are looking at introducing ducks to dogs, or dogs to ducks, don't do it the way that we did, okay? We were wrong. Wrong. Um, there were too many opportunities for Zephyr to get one of our ducks, and it is purely by Zephyr's nature that he did not. Um, that's how we figured out his nature. So anyway, be very careful. Um, I've heard plenty of stories of people's dogs killing one of their ducks. Um, when we got Zephyr, I did a little research and the internet warned to make sure your dog had a real solid recall. Here's Zephyr coming over. And he's looking at the ducks right now. Um, to make sure your dog had a really solid recall before introducing any ducks to them or anything like that. Zephyr doesn't have much prey drive and that I think has been a huge blessing for us and why I will probably stick with hurting or working dogs um, for the rest of our lives. I don't think I will ever get a hunting breed and hopefully, you know, I'll work really hard to get if we adopt again um, to avoid getting one with a significant amount of hunting in it. Um, when we brought Zephyr home, it was kind of a storm of good situation for us. Helena and Wanda were separated at the time and so I wasn't letting any of the ducks free range um, because the ducks would go out of their pen and walk straight over to Wanda and Helena. Wanda and Helena would get stressed out, try to escape, and Wanda had scraped up her beak a few times um, trying to get out. So we did not let any of the ducks free roam at that point. That was really helpful. We also obviously didn't let Zephyr free roam because he was new and so every time we brought him outside he was on a leash. And so we would let him approach the the um the duck fenced in duck yard um and you know kind of look at them if he started barking and lunging we would correct him and pull him away make him calm down um and the other thing is that when he started being calm around the ducks um i would periodically call him back to me while he was on a leash so i would like call his attention back to me because i had read that if a dog is to the point in his prey drive where he cannot take their his attention or her attention off of the prey you have a bit of a problem so i would make sure that he could always pull the atten his t his attention away from the ducks and look back at me and i would reward him with the treat um basically just making sure that his attention was never so focused on the ducks that he couldn't listen we would hold on to a duck and hold on, one of us would hold on to a duck, one of us would hold on to Zephyr. Um, luckily for us, I think Zephyr was kind of a nervous dog and would have a lot. He was scared of them, honestly. Even Helena, um, he was scared of because she has a very loud quack. So I think that worked in our favor because he didn't automatically view them as prey. When we recombined Wanda and Helena and we were able to let them free roam again, we put up where their fence had been, we put up a dog run, which you can see right there, for him that we could let him play in and we would play with him. And that's the only place that he would free roam. Well, then the ducks could free roam and they would come up and then he would have to see them through the fence and they could come up and say hi to him. And we very carefully watched his behavior through all of this. And we also would kind of correct him if he tried to run at them. So as I'm editing, um, I realized that I feel like I didn't explain this part very well. So I'm just going to quick re-record. So that's why you're seeing three different, because I did the thing twice and now this. Anyway. Um... Just to be clear, in this whole time that we were working on being able to let Zephyr free range in the yard and the ducks free range at the same time, we were watching Zephyr's behavior closely to see if he had um, a prey drive. And um, I have a very minor background with herding dogs. I grew up with a Shetland sheepdog, and so I knew roughly she had a pretty strong herding um, drive would herd cats, vacuums, us. Um, so through all of this, Zephyr was clearly trying to play with them and trying to herd them. And we recognized that behavior as hurting behavior. At some point, I'll probably upload a video that I took of what he was doing with them before we, they were allowed to interact with each other to show you what it looked like. Um, so yeah, 
while they were separated by fences the whole time, we knew he was trying to herd them and trying to play with them, and he was not being prey hunting aggressive. So just to be clear on that part a little bit better. He's going to zoom around them on accident. And the few times that he did chase the ducks, he always, like, rounded them up in a circle, and then occasionally he'd, like, run through them and split them into groups like herding dogs do. And that was it. That was all he ever did with them. Um, again, we made it pretty clear to him. Now he recalls. The only time that I have problems, and again, it is entirely my fault, is if he's not getting enough playtime and attention from us and we're outside. Um, he will start to try and play with them again. This is a good example of what he does. Um, he will chase Carol because it's fun and he's trying to bring her back to the rest of the group. And then here I'm trying to prevent him from doing it. You can see the way that he's looking at her. Um, he thinks about it, takes a few steps, but of course I'm calling him back and so he acts like he was never thinking about it at all and then comes back to me. So he does listen well, but he does try and play. I plan in this um, springish to work on some minor herding techniques with him um, to help us with them, you know, herd them into the coop and stuff like that. But yeah, that's that's how we uh, duck trained our dog, I guess. Now he just usually hangs out. And um, as always, thanks for tuning in. Um, I appreciate any likes, subscribes, sharing my videos, etc. It means a lot to me. Um, I really enjoy being here and I hope you guys, or I have been enjoying it. I've only been here for a week and a half. I hope you guys are enjoying it too and thanks for tuning in. See you later, folks.